boy. Where is this place you take me? Well, you know how you think you're in hell? This is hell, this is... Well, you're not far off, mate. These are my catacombs. This horrible place. And technically, I don't know why I kept you alive for so long, you whiny prick. Ah! I... I valuable commodity in trade. Yeah, a valuable commodity is about to expire. No, yeah. you, no you know what to expire me. Yes, I do. No. You're, you're way past your expiration oh, date, mate. Oh, you know what to expire me. What? Why there blood on these? Oh, the people I've killed, of course. Oh, you know what to... Why you lose to me? I'm the crazy Australian, remember? Uh, you are crazy. That's what I do. I kidnap people and I murder them oh, after a time. Oh, you don't do that to me. And I want to rid the world of ginger. Oh, you don't do that. The world end if you end ginger. The world ended for me 52 years ago. But that not to do with me. It had everything to do with you because the spirit looked like ya. <laughs> what kind of tribe does a wahoo 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 poo chant? <laughs> please, please. The end of it, sad sap, once and for all. <laughs> please don't hurt me. Ah, uh, no, no, what you do? What you do? What you do? No! That's him dead. I'm just kind of wondering now till the... Oh my lord! What's that? Look like a blind old fool coming in. You okay sir? I'm not blind. You okay sir? Can I yes. help ya? Yes, I'm fine thank you. Can I help you mate? Hey, no, I'm alright. You look lost. Oh, no, 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 I'm just looking for water. Water? Yes. Right, uh, you want some water? Oh. Well, you come to the right place. I'm a dealer. Oh, you're a water dealer, are you? I'm a dealer of many things, mate. No charge. Ah, thank you, good sir. Ah, it seems as though my trusty water-finding companion has paid off again. That stick is your water-finding companion? He helps me find water. I live out here. You live out here? I do indeed, yes. Uh, what's your name? My name, I have no name, of course. Oh, you got the man with no name. No, no. <laughs> no, uh. no, 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 I have no name, I have no title. I'm not the man with no name, I am just a man Well, who has no name. I'll give you a name then, you're Adam. How long have you been out here? I've been out here for 26 years. I've been out here for 52 years. Twice as long as you. You're joking. No. Well, I I've never at, seen I've... you around these parts, eh? Well, I'm yeah. the Australian, mate. Eh? Yeah. The Australian is the only name and title I go by. Oh, you see, I've been living here for quite some time, and I don't see many Australian folk out in well, these this is, uh, bizarre woodlands. Well, these bizarre woodlands used to be the Australian outback. Hmm, interesting. You didn't I, know that? I, I knew that the Australian outback was near. But yeah, I you're in it. Not, I thought this was a strange anomaly, a strange anomaly of nature, and I came to investigate, because I... I know there should not be woods. 
in the outback of, of Australia. Well, no, they shouldn't, but they grew 52 years prior. Over the years, over the years, I've come to think that this is not, in fact, even part of Australia. This is a strange tear in time space. <laughs> you're a time traveller? No, 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 no. That's what it sounds like you're saying. No, you're no. crazy, mate. I am a scientist. I, thank you very much, am an esteemed scientist. A well, man like, uh, of Stephen science. Hawking esteemed? Huh? Stephen Hawking esteemed? No. No, of course not. I am just a humble scientist, but an esteemed one. And yeah. I came here to investigate this strange anomaly, and I, I honestly, my friend, I tell you, this is a ripping time space. An anomaly. There should be no woods in the outback of Australia. Well, see? there are. No, there aren't. That's the thing. We are not in, whilst we're in these woods, we are not in the outback of Australia. Yes, we are. No, no I tell you. It's, we, it's, we are in the outback, mate. I, I hate you. to break it to you, but your you. science is 100% flawed. No, I have very very many years of testing and <laughs> yeah right theorizing yeah right i'm telling you how many years the sticks do not lie <laughs> how many years well i as i say i i think i've out of the time that i've been here probably about 15 of those years has been spent with the revelation that this is in fact a warp in time space and <laughs> no, so, for not. about that amount of time, I've been investigating what could have caused this to happen, you see. What year do you think you're in? Well, I'm not entirely sure. I can tell you I what year this is. I count the years with sticks, you see, because I have no, no digital devices right. or pen or paper. Right. So, uh? You're going to be in for a shock here. Prepare yourself and brace yourself. Right. This is the year 2018 AD. You're joking. No, be serious. Okay, it's been longer than I'd first thought. I think I've been here <coughs> for about 40 odd years. 40? Yes. So you've been here since 1978? If my memory serves me correctly, it was around about that time that I first landed, yes. Yes. Some, some time ago now. But... Uh, I tell you, I've noticed very strange things. Like? For example, there are certain areas where if I place sticks on the ground and I come back later, they've moved. Now what can explain this well, phenomenon? Apart from <laughs> magnetic waves. No. Magnetic fields. You never know the half of what goes on in these woods in the dead of night, mate. Ma there are spirits hanging around these trees. What was that? I have no idea, but there are ghosts all over these woods. No, I, ta I, I put it to you like this, my friend. What you think are these ghosts are actually magnetic anomalies. Um, I've lived out here since 1966, I mate. am a scientist. And I am an Australian. But I am an esteemed scientist. And I am a crazy Australian. Wow! Did you hear that story when you, you were young? You lost your conkers, did you? What conkers? We haven't got any. Exactly! That's what I've been trying to tell the squirrels all along. But they won't listen to me. They never listen. Oh, uh, you mean the genetically altered squirrels that we have around here that were mutated? I said too much. I tell you, I suspected as much. But you know what my theory was? What? I thought the sticks got to them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're you're a laugh, mate. You're a laugh. I tell you another thing. The trees. They are alive. Of course, the trees are alive, mate. They're trees. <laughs> No, really? Is that <laughs> people know this? <laughs> of course, I've lived in these woods for fifty-two years. My tree, the trees, are my only companions normally. Oh, well, and that's how I was having a conversation with a tree just yesterday, and 
He confided in me that it was a secret and nobody knew. Well, I was the first one he told. <laughs> There's no secret to me. And obviously the trees. They give birth to the sticks. <laughs> what? Sticks. Well, hmm. There hasn't been any birth in this world for uh, for 52 years, mate. I thought you would have known that. Hold on. There are no women to conceive Shh. children. I hear something. Do you hear it? No. Oh no. That's a big one. It's I can't see one. anything. I'll protect you. I will save you. Us four ah. critters. Ah. Large and small. Ah. For 52 years. Away beast. Away what? with you. There's no beast here. Ah. Okay. I am very used to combat. So, you're a renowned scientist. Do you have any special abilities? I know a lot about sticks. Yes, it's not an ability, it's a knowledge. I mean, do you have any special abilities? Like, can you heal rapidly? No, but I have had to fend for my life against these sticks for many years. Yeah, and I have become maybe, rather adept. I have become rather adept. You're what? You're dead? Feet. Rather adept. Oh, I'm oh, sorry, I'm deaf in one ear, mate. At defeating these sticks in hand-to-hand -hand combat. So, um, if we're going to be neighbours, I'm going to have to start calling you by some sort of name, because you can't have a nameless neighbour around here. Just call me the Snapper of Sticks. I'll call you the Doctor. The Scientist. That's... Oh, fine. Scientist yes. who? Scientist Stickman. Stickman. <laughs> well, neighbour, nice meeting you at last. It is nice to meet you too, Mr. Well, crazy. They call me the crazy Australian. I see. But my actual name is Andy. Andy. Andy McGruber. Andy McGruber. Yeah. I shake upon your hand. I shake. Yeah, you too, mate. Mm. Watch out. What? Watch out. What? There's another one! Well, Away, beast! Away with you! I can't see anything. Are you sure it's not just a figment of your imagination? No, that was another one. A naughty stick. A stick that needs to be snapped. Our oh, friends, it's the end of the revenge arc. Join us again next time as Andy McGruber, as he calls himself, and the scientist, the beard, <laughs> <laughs> and the scientist, the scientist, or scientist Stickman, scientist Stickman, the snapper of twigs, begin their adventures, or should I say misadventures? <laughs> <laughs> Until then. Take care, won't you? I don't know.